Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, welcome to this channel. We are called The Buzz UG and uh, I am right here to bring to you all the celebrities you've ever heard about in Uganda. And uh, today I am going to be uh, chilling with uh, one singer, songstress I should say, uh, Diana Nalubega. Uh, you've heard songs like Kavite, Echisumu Luzo, yeah, good songs right here. And uh, she is the person that I'm going to be speaking to. And uh, if just, I just want to remind you guys, in case you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure that you subscribe. You can as well get to tap on that notification icon right there uh, so that you can get to know exactly everything that we get to post on this platform that is called the Buzz UG. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula as usual. And uh, Dana Nalwega, welcome to this platform. How are you doing? I'm okay, thank you. You're, you're looking too good, uh, you know, to fit in this situation of COVID-19. I mean, you look at how we are looking, man. For you, I mean, you're looking so, so good. How has been the situation of COVID-19? Um, things have not been so easy, uh, but somehow I've managed to survive through it, okay. just like any other person. I mean, you're looking too good, but anyways, let's get to leave that aside. Who is Dan and Alubega? Um, Diana Nalwega is a Ugandan musician. I was born and raised in Mawanda Road, Mlago. I'm a, a fourth born of out of seven kids. Um, yeah, I'm a Muganda. Okay. I mm. mean, you're Diana Nalwega. I've heard people say, uh, Simanyi, what? what? Basically, why didn't you change your name? Uh, I want to hope that you're called Dan and Alwega naturally. Why didn't you change your name, maybe to have some other stage name? I just wanted it that way because, I'm, first of all, I'm proud of my name. I'm proud of who I, I am. I'm a Muganda, like I told you. So I, I, just, I just wanted it that way. Mm. Yes, I just wanted it that way. And you like it? Yes, I like it. Uh, have, you, have you ever reached to that point and you, and you feel like, I wish I had changed call my name. Maybe I would, I would be sounding so much better than I'm sounding right about now? Never. That has not crossed my mind at any time. Okay. No. I'm happy the way I am, uh, the way I branded myself with my original name, Diana Nalwega. I love it. I'm happy. I'm contented. Okay. Yes. H have you gone to school? Yeah. I have. How far did you go? High school. High school? Yeah. Why not campus? Uh, I really did not think I would concentrate that much at campus because after high school, that's when I started uh, singing commercially. You don't sound high school. I mean, you're sounding like someone who has degrees and <laughs> bachelors. How come? I think it's the foundation. The foundation matters okay. a lot, yeah. Where did you study from? Um, I went to a school called Omega. Nasarian Primary School, then I went to Nakasero Primary School, then I went to, um, for my all level I went to Mutesa Two High School, then for my high school I went to Kawempe Secondary. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Let's, let's get to speak about, you know, where the inspiration of getting to the entertainment industry starts from. I mean, people have different stories. You hear someone say, ah, man, me, I started in church. Uh, from church I went to Simanyi, where yeah. Just talk to us about that. Where did it all start from? I really have been singing. I, I was singing in church when I was a child, but I was you really have the shy. Same story of starting in yes, church. but I was really shy. And that story about me singing in church, actually, I don't even recollect so much about it. It's my mother that uh, always tells me there's one time I was singing in Sunday school and she saw me on stage. Yeah. She said she was so shocked to see me there. So that is when I know that I, have been, I was singing in church, but I don't have a very, very, very clear memory okay. of that. Then. I was always singing at home and I was always inspired by a musician that sings good. That is my biggest, biggest inspiration. For example, right here in Uganda? In Uganda, here. I, I didn't grow up listening to much of Ugandan hey, music. International girl. No, not really, because even the international musicians that I've been listening to, Bali, they're not the kind. Okay. Any... So who is that particular artist who inspired you to be the Dana you are right now? A lot of... Uh, Brenda Fassi, oh, you see, yeah. yeah, a lot of her, a lot of Dolly Parton. Um, then I would uh, listen to uh, Mariah, okay. Mariah Carey, and okay. yeah, basically that Celine Dion. Okay. Those four artists. So know. when professionally you're joining the entertainment industry, which year are we talking about? Uh, professionally, that's mm. 2011. 2011. Yeah. I feel like you have been here for a long time. 2011. Then. Yeah. Hey. 
that's when I started. That's when I did my first uh, single, which was Kavite. Kavite. Yeah. How did you feel when Kavite did make rounds all over the country? I mean, it was a song that was sounding everywhere. Kavite, Dana, Naluvega, and everyone is like, eh, hey, man, that baby is so hot. She's coming to take over the entertainment industry. How did it feel for you, being the very first song? Um, I honestly felt it took, it, it just caught me off guard. I did not expect it to go that far. Yeah. I think I wasn't expecting so much out of it. Eh? Did you celebrate anyhow? I don't really remember celebrating, but I was happy. Okay. That is a very, a very vivid uh, memory yeah. in my head. I was so happy about it, about the success of the song. Yeah. I was so happy, but I was shocked still. Were you under any management at the time? By that time, I was under um, Gong Records. Gong Records? Yeah. Is it still existing? I really don't know. <laughs> 2011? Okay. Yeah, I really don't know if it's there or not, but I, I was under them. Mm. Yes. So 2011 you did Kavite and uh, which other big song you did in 2011? And then uh, after Kavite I did uh, Chisumuluzo but that, is, that was 2012 approaching to, um, uh, at the end of 2012 like November, December there. Okay. I did Chisumuluzo. Mm. I mean you have done hit songs almost. Every song that you do is a hit. Mm. Uh, Chisumuluzo was as well a, big, a very big hit. Mm. Uh, how do you do it? Do you write your own songs? Uh, you have uh, personal writers, like how do you do it? Um, now, for example, uh, Kavite, it was partly written by me and another person. Okay. Then um, Chisumuluzo, it was all written by Nins Henry. Um, that's how I do my thing. Sometimes I write partly, uh, just a little bit, then someone will come and finish or I choose, I pick music from uh, established writers. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, let's get to speak about, you know, the entertainment industry. Uh, mm. y some people say that, uh, Dan and Alubega, you're not sounding like mm. you used to sound before, like in 2011. Right now, mm. you're not sounding like before. What happened? Nothing much happened. Yeah. You know, everyone has a way they run their things you understand this is how i run mine um not in a rush. i'm not in a rush to do anything really because i eat i have a shelter over my head i you know I feel. i'm comfortable I mean, you're driving I'm okay. as well <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i'm okay i'm not saying that the people that are working so hard on it are not okay they are okay but mm. that is what that's that's their path mm. so i'd prefer if People don't even compare me to anyone because I am, I, I am who I am and they are who they are. Don't you feel at some point uh, the fans want to have more you? I mean, they want to have more songs from you and you just keep them on waiting. I know and I truly understand. Oh, you have other so businesses have, that you're working on. So right now, now, now I, I have released a song for them. Yeah, I, I have, but have. just like you. Yes. Yeah, I have a new single out, so I, I think I'm quenching their thirst really good yeah if they go and so they, they, let them just go and sub subscribe to subscribe to my youtube channel and Which type is? just like you Diana and Alvega, okay. just like you they'll really quench their thirst there how have you handled uh, producers who are so immoral you're going to do a song mm -hmm. and this producer will tell you man what's up what do you have in for me <laughs> how have you handled that as a female artist in uganda honestly i have never in, uh, I haven't encountered such a producer because I don't even move around different studios, you understand? Do you realize, I mean, you have had such stories around? Yeah, I've had those stories around, but they haven't particularly um, happened to me. Okay. Yes, I haven't, I haven't faced such. So which comment do you have for such people? I mean, I feel like they are doing so bad for the entertainment That's industry. That's immoral. That's immoral, like you said. That is disrespectful. That is, that is, that it's not right. Mm. It's not right. So to whoever that has experienced that, or that to whoever, to whoever that might experience that, please, if you face such a thing, it's your talent, it's your money, just walk away, look for a more respectable person that it, will it, handle you. Is it the best to go to the media and you start putting this person to the limelight? I mean, we have had uh, diff, uh, producers who have actually been affected. Uh, look at uh, Daddy Andre. Just recently, guy was affected. Some chicks did come out and were like, ah, ah, man, daddy, I'm trying to move in. So 
Do you think it is the best way to go to the media and you start expressing your dissatisfaction about this particular guy? Listen, I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what exactly happened, okay. but it's not the right way. I think if you experience such a thing, you should just go and use the law. Go um, to police and yeah, go to police, go to court, go anywhere. Mm. But if you come to the media, uh, seeking for attention, uh, seek, uh, talking to cameras about it, then that, that means you're, you're seeking for some kind of relevance or some kind of mm, attention. You understand? Eh? So I believe so much in if something is being unjust to me, I believe in fighting the thing behind off camera. Okay. Because we've all gone through things that maybe we have to use the law or something, but you don't bring it to the news or to the media okay. yes well as we get to the final part of the interview then how have you handled uh you know okay you're known to be a calm babe a calm artist you mm. know how have you handled yourself you know uh and then sit in the mazam that is question. yeah you know ah Omani, new man, like, I mean, you've not been had in scandals in the media industry in the entertainment industry you okay you all later music watch into no chikuba no dio no sirika you know you keep on giving out good music but you've not been had in uh, scandals in the entertainment industry to stay this the diana that you are um i run my pace my own race at my own pace. Okay. Sometimes I want to have an interview because of pressure to mm. stay relevant. Yeah. So your pressure is pressure. Mm. Honestly, you don't even want to tell a scandal. You can't, you can't even see me commenting about it. You can't even see me commenting about it. So, anyway, pressure. I think that is how I've managed to stay out of those, the, what you asked about, out of the scandals and everything. Okay because I don't have the pressure to prove my innocence or anything to anyone. Okay. Yes. Well, uh, this is, maybe this is my last question. Uh, there's a lot that is happening in the country right now. Mm. Uh, talk about, you know, you know we, we're in a period of politics yes. and very many things are happening all over Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, well, recently there's a lot that's actually been happening in Nigeria, mm. uh, SARS mm. in Nigeria, yes. and uh, our celebrities, some of them, mm. they have come to comment about that. They mm. are, they are, they are like, you know, stop uh, SARS in Nigeria. Yes. And uh, some Ugandans have come out to be like, Luachi Abaimbibe Uganda, you Ugandan celebrities, mutu yuwa yo, ochitegeira. Like you're never there for your people and yet these are the people mm. who are giving you their money. Mm. Right here there is police brutality going on. Yeah. I, I feel like you understand what I'm talking yes, about. Do. Yes, why don't you guys step in for what is really happening in Uganda? Why don't you at least, because you're a very big person, your comment is enough on what is really I happening do. in the I country. So why don't you guys comment on what is happening in the country? Um, I don't know. I think I think it's a the brutal the police brutality. Uh, you're already worldwide because even in America you see all of the movements of uh, Black Lives Matter, bichi bichi bichi, and just like uh, you can't compare. <coughs> anyway, anyway, Simani, I think we are just cowards. <laughs> Let me call us. What is really spread. happening next? Yes, not all of us, because some of them came out and stood against the, br the brutality. Did you? No, I did not, and it's not good. You understand? It's not good. So that's your uh, law. Hmm? That's your law, as in you, you, you did bad on that one. Yes, I did bad. Okay. Police brutality is sinunji because people end up dying, innocent people, young people, together. Okay. Um, I want to have responsibilities. I have a ton of a leka at a police brutality. You're worldwide, and honestly, uh, musicians and celebrities should come.